Here we want to graph by plotting five points. Okay, so to do that, let's go ahead and fill in our chart, x and y. Notice y depends on what x is. x is the independent variable. You could choose whatever you want. Now let's choose wisely. For the first x value, I'm going to choose negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. So there's five points, five x values that I chose. Well, not really at random. I chose them wisely, and you'll see why in a minute. Let's go ahead and substitute those values in to find the corresponding y values. Okay, so negative 1 half times negative 4 is positive 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. So the corresponding y value there is 6. Continuing, negative 1 half times the negative 2 plus the 4. Well, that negative 1 half times negative 2 is positive 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. So here we go, negative 1 half times 0 plus the 4. A 0 times anything is 0, so that just gives me 4. Okay, that's going to be the y-intercept. Alright, so negative 1 half times positive 2 plus the 4. Negative 1 half times 2 is negative 1 plus 4, and that's going to give me um, 3. And then finally here, negative 1 half times 4 plus the 4. Now you can see why I chose multiples of 2, hopefully. Negative uh, 1 half times 4, see how they 2 goes into 4 evenly there. That was the idea. So negative 2 plus 4, well that equals 2. Okay, so here's the five ordered pairs that I'm going to plot. So here, let's draw a Cartesian coordinate system. Uh, this will be my x-axis. And this here will be my y-axis. Okay, let's choose a good scale. It looks like my x values range from negative 4 to 4. So it kind of looks like I can go by 2s. 2, 4, 6. Okay, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. And I need my y values to go up to 6. So let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven. So I chose a smaller scale on the y-axis. And down here is negative 1, negative 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and plot the points. Uh, negative 4, comma 6. Land right about there. Negative 2, comma 5. Land right about there. 0, comma 4. There's my y-intercept. You know, always looking for those points. 2, comma 3. And then 4, comma 2. Notice they all lined up. Now, what do you think the x-axis, or the x-intercept's going to be? Well, if we look at our original equation, negative 1 half times 8 is 4. So that would give me, well, negative 4. That would give me the 0. So with a little bit of thought, it kind of looks like my x-intercept is going to be way over there at 0, comma, 8. In any case, connect the points. Use a straight edge. It's hard for me to do this on a computer like that. And uh, when you use a straight edge, your lines look so much nicer. In any case, this is my line. y equals negative 1 half x plus 4.